hello and welcome back to my channel. Today I have an audition that I have been a little nervous about, not a little bit, I've been pretty nervous. I'm gonna be auditioning for a dream role slash bucket list show that I have been trying to be in for quite some time now. I'll be auditioning for the production of All Shook Up. I have had the opportunity to audition for the show before and I did get a call back for the dream role that I have been trying to book. All Shook Up is a jukebox musical featuring Elvis Presley music. It follows these residents having this awakening when this hottie in a leather jacket and motorbike shows up. Not only is this a bucket list show, but there is a dream role wrapped inside of it and the dream role is Natalie. And Natalie is that character that is yearning for adventure and love and always trying to follow that dream and the more I think about it and talk about it I believe that why I feel so anxious is auditions for the show don't come so often so I think I have that limiting belief of this might be one of your last chances or something like that now getting ready to have my first vocal lesson after closing the show feeling so many emotions and they are not good emotions feeling anxious I'm feeling nervous i'm feeling oh we're back at the beginning and is it gonna sound good probably not um and i'm just really nervous to sing again and i it feels silly because this is what i love to do i feel like i have to admit it because it's my honest feelings right now and i'm just like Oh, really been thinking about this vocal lesson since yesterday and I've been I woke up and was just like really dreading it And I've just been really really anxious about it. It's gonna be so fine Like my coach is so encouraging and I don't know what I'm afraid of fear afraid of sounding bad Like is that what the fear is because if I sound bad, that's okay Like okay, the vocal lesson's gonna start in like five minutes <sighs> Wish me luck. Oh my god. Why am I so nervous right now? I'm like, really have been finding the urge to cancel this. I am, I don't know what's going on with me. I'm just so nervous. Hi. <laughs> hello, hello. Welcome back. I can't believe. Oh, it feels so good to be back. My show is closed. Yes, I have closed the show. Are you, oh my gosh. Congratulations. Thank you so awesome. much. That is so incredible. <sighs> We're gonna see. wrong it's so false opportunities and auditions fall out of the sky literally every single day I don't need to identify with this limiting belief that is telling me don't get it now I'll never get it that's incorrect because that's what I thought that last time I was at callbacks for all shook up and look where I am years later about to audition for this production again I feel like I'm more confident and capable than ever we are not running out of time if it's for you it will find you and all in due time Okay, work through that thinking of I really want this because casting can read when you really really want something and I shouldn't even be focusing on that just showing up and rocking it out I actually woke up today with a lot of confidence and just like not as many nerves more excitement And I don't know what it is. Maybe it's just like we know it's time They are asking for a 32 bar cut of a song and I am choosing to sing I can hear the bells from hairspray I feel like these song lyrics and energy and moment. It's like that <gasps> All right, here are the overalls. <laughs> It definitely emulates the getup that a mechanic would wear, right? Dress and a skirt are completely rolled out, but what do we think? I was very naughty today and I forgot to take my allergy pill and I can feel my throat itching right now and I just started sneezing and had to cut the camera. I'm not gonna panic about it. I can really feel something, something, and it might honestly be these overalls that I'm wearing. I'm really, really allergic to dust and dust mites. And when I get out clothes from under my bed or from drawers that I haven't worn in a long time, I can feel it in my nose and in my throat and like my throat kinda closes like immediately. Let me stop talking and take this. Hoping that the allergy pill does its job and I'm not going to think too much about my throat feeling like it wants to close. It has to be that I just got these overalls out of my drawer and I haven't worn them in a long time and that's what's causing this because I've been fine all day. Um, but glad I'm still home so I can take my medication. It's time to run the song. 
mm, uh, I don't know, should I be? Maybe I take a minute. Maybe I'm gonna take a minute. I'm gonna take a minute. Oh my, why is this happening now? <laughs> Took my little break. I had some water. I had some little energy chews. Amino acids, electrolytes, no caffeine, gluten free. Just having a little bit of these because my stomach can't handle food right now. It's just. We're too close to the audition time and so I can't eat food. This is watermelon flavor. I've had the watermelon and the lemon lime and they are fantastic. I love these things. I want to eat the entire pouch because they taste so good, but you're not supposed to. Ryan's always telling me you are only allowed to have three or four before like a workout. Three little gummies will just give me enough little support to get me through auditions and then I can get my little post audition treat. My throat is feeling much better. It's not feeling as closed. I can feel the allergy pill working out and I need to get going pretty soon here, so let me run the song one more time. My temperature is climbing, I can't contain my joy, cause I finally found the boy I've been missing. Listen! My head is spinning. I've actually never sung this song for an audition before. I had to go print out the sheet music for this at Staples. I shot a cover of me singing I Can Hear the Bells when the movie first came out and YouTube had just started. I mean, this must have been in like 2000 and... The film Hairspray was released on July 20th, 2007. Around 2007, 2008, I was in my computer room and I set my little camera up on top of my huge computer that was so, so thick. I put it on top and I sang my cover of I Can Hear the Bells and quite honest with you, that video still might be living on YouTube somewhere because I don't, I don't know what the name of the account is or the name or whatever it's under, but I don't remember ever deleting it. So if you can somehow locate me doing a cover of I Can Hear the Bells, you can hear the entirety of this when I was seven. So excited about my post audition treat. I haven't decided what I want yet. I'm gonna let myself decide with whatever I'm feeling when I'm done the audition and just see what's in the area and stop by. And that will be dinner for tonight. Once I'm done with my audition and I have secured my post audition treat, I will make sure to set the camera up and give you guys a full debrief of how it went. Right, here we go. Burger that needs some chilies, one fry and a lemon up is 9.32 at the first one. I have got the goods, have done my audition. Before we begin, I need to reheat my food because uh, the drive was a drive home and the fries from in and out if you don't eat them right then and there, I personally believe that they taste similar to cardboard. And I'm not here to talk shit about In-N-Out because I do love In-N-Out. I love their spread. I love their freshness. I love that I don't feel terrible after eating it. I feel like quite good after eating an In-N-Out. If anything, I'm like, I could eat another one. It took me another hour to get home and I thought that the traffic had died down by the time, but it didn't. So today was a total of two and a half hours of commuting for this audition. I'm not even sure how I want to heat these up. Ugh, I love this moment. I had such a great time at In-N-Out, number one. The girl that gave me my food was like, I love your bangs, they're perfect. And I was like, thank you so much, I just got my hair cut. And she was like, you're just so pretty. And I was like, thank you so much, I love you. Oh, In-N-Out was great, great ego boost. Let me do this before I start chatting because I will get distracted. Um, so let's take it all the way back to where I last spoke to you, which is where I was on the floor putting on my shoes. I got in the car, put my stuff in the GPS and it said one hour and 20 minutes and I was like, that sounds absolutely tragic. It's probably my mom. For Legally Blonde, I was doing a huge commute. I was doing an hour and a half there and back every single night. Even on the way back, because a lot of the time I was hitting Dodger Stadium because they were fixing the road there. So I didn't get like a break on the drive home. And so Legally Blonde was a huge commute, but obviously super worth it. Um, but my little bladder did not withstand the hour and 20 minutes and I had to pull over at a macaroni grill. Pull over to the macaroni grill to, to pee and I'm really hoping that it's like busy and I can just walk into the bathroom. Um, unfortunately, it was not. There was three hostess, literally three girl hostess just like standing there waiting to like 
greet you so i pretended to be on the phone and was like oh i'm over there so i didn't have to make contact because i just had to pee so bad and i couldn't have them tell me that i couldn't pee there and i was just gonna i'm sorry i'm sorry and i feel bad for being deceitful but i had to pee so bad so, oh yeah and i run past the hostess and i go to the bathroom oh my god i had to pee so bad that's so good so i made it to the auditions did not know where I was going. So I was just like walking down and hoping I would see something that said auditions, kept going. I could see a lot of people sitting out. And so I was like, mm, potentially go inside. A girl's like, hello, checked in, signed my name. She gave me a piece of paper to fill out. Questions like email, vocal range, information that's on your resume. You either attach your resume or fill out some of the information. Um, conflicts, filled out my paperwork, kind of her my headshot and resume. She stapled it. She was like, thank you so much hang out and I'll call you. Went to the bathroom quickly. I just was drinking some water and looking over my lyrics one last time, which I, I know the words to the song, but it's so the same. I was just getting nervous that my nerves would get to me and I would sing the wrong verse. The part where it goes, my head is spinning, something's beginning. And I was getting that stuck with, um, just hear them chiming, my temperature's climbing. And I was so, so nervous. I was like, please Paloma, don't forget. It's my head is spinning is first. So I was just looking over my lyrics one last time. They started calling people's names to line up on deck. And then they were like, when the next person comes out, you just go in and just keep it going, keep it going. And they called my name, I went on deck. And I think I was the seventh person to go, the sixth or seventh. Like I said, there's already people there. Call my name and I go into the room and it is a big rehearsal room, very, very nice. Again, these facilities are really, really nice. I walk in and the casting team is behind the table, the accompanist is behind the piano and they're like, hello, welcome. If you just wanna meet over with the accompanist, give her your sheet music. And I was like, great, 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 thank you. Give them all the details. This is where I'm gonna start. This is where I'm gonna end. This is where I would like you to come in. This is how I would like to cue you in. I step in front of the casting team. Hi, my name is Paloma Malpavon and I'm gonna be singing I Can Hear the Bells from Hairspray for you. Dink. And then I went, I can hear the bells. Mow, mow, mow. And I did not mess up the lyrics, but I could feel myself being in my head in those moments, trying to ensure that I was making the correct lyrics because we have to sing the correct words. If not, we're gonna mess up. But usually I'm kind of on autopilot and I already know, and I don't have to be in my head to do that. And I'm in my emotions and I'm just locked in there. It was a moment of disconnect when I needed to make sure that the lyric that I knew was gonna start the rest of the verses off correctly. I was like, okay, back into what I'm doing. But there was like, there's that conversation in my head of here it comes. Okay, there's the lyric, we got it. Okay, so there was that disconnect, which I don't, would not want to be doing. It's obviously not the goal. And now reflecting, I realize that I do not enjoy that feeling of needing to be focused on the words and being worried that I'm gonna mix up the words. Like that should not even be the situation, which is why you should not do music that you don't know at an audition. Like you need to be able to sing it forward and backwards and like, be able to be super nervous and it doesn't matter because you have those words in your bones. Or I, I don't know, I just was having the brain and the things were not connecting today. The words, it's just those verses were get tripping me up and I'm not, I don't know why, I mean. So I'm being extremely harsh on myself and nitpicking every single moment. Like I sang for an entire minute and that was a brief split second in it and I'm just over analyzing it and maybe they didn't even notice, probably didn't. Today I worked for my SAG card. I was really committed to the emotions for that character and I could feel the brief moments that I would glance at them that they were connected. Once I finished, they followed up and said, you will find out about callbacks tonight once we're done. So I am waiting by the phone um, and I didn't realize that until it's coming out of my mouth right now. I'm like, yeah, we'll send the callback information tonight. Oh my gosh, that's tonight, that's today. Oh my gosh. Which also, I hope that's a good sign that once I was done with my song, they were like, thank you, we will be putting out callback information. Um, I don't know. I hope the fact that they brought up callbacks is a good sign, but also reading into every little thing will simply make me pass away. So, but I mean, they could have just said like, thank you, bye. Uh, but they brought up callbacks, so I hope since they brought it up. I'm thinking about it. Not gonna think about it. Okay. Yes, in and out, as you should. It's what she deserves. It's what she deserves right now. Uh
I'm in over my head, over my head, over my head. Pull me closer now, pull me closer now. Breaking news, breaking news. It is, it is 11.26 and my name was on the list. I got a call back. So I will see you very soon.